On the third day of the ongoing Climate U Network Conference held at Kenyatta University Conference Center, experts around the globe gathered to address the urgent need for integrating climate change education across various disciplines. The panel session chaired by Dr. Devisha Sadivan from the Tata Institute of Social Science highlighted innovative approaches and the indigenous knowledge in tackling climate impacts. In a panel discussion on international experiences of climate action in universities chaired by Dr. Devisha Sasidivan during the ongoing Climate U Network Conference, significant strides in climate education were explored. Professor Christopher Shisanya from Kenyatta University highlighted that universities should model courses that bring out issues of climate change. He argued that climate change has been confined in traditional geography, hence advocating climate change being fused across all fields in the university curriculum. Many universities in Kenya, we are aware about climate change. But it's as if we are not actually taking up this role seriously. So I think it is very, very important that starting at home, we must make sure that at least the management of the university must uh, 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 undertake a deliberate effort to actually mainstream climate change in all departments of the university, not just geography department or environment. I think climate change knows no boundaries. Glynis Vagotine from the University of Witwaters Run shared a remarkable success story from Somanga village in Tanzania where the mobilization of indigenous knowledge led to the restoration of local ecosystems. The community successfully cultivated approximately 7,000 coral reefs and 18,000 mangroves, reversing some of the adverse effects of climate change. We basically looked at um, mobilizing indigenous knowledge to restore climate change uh, impacts in Tanzania. Um, coral reef, what we found was there were more than 7,000 corals that were planted specifically um, by this project. And also in terms of the, um, the mangroves, almost 18,000 mangroves were um, grown. In her keynote address, Professor Nicola Walsh, Executive Director at University College of London, stressed that mere classroom instruction is insufficient. She advocated for outdoor learning experiences that empower students to engage actively with climate change and sustainability efforts. This approach aims to cultivate a generation of informed and proactive individuals ready to tackle climate issues head on. Relates again to universities in terms of how we're preparing children and young people to go out into the workplace and to sort of be um, actors in the future. So only 17% said that they would like to work in a job related to climate change and sustainability in the future. And only 31% thought that it was actually going to be relevant and, and would help them get a job, which of course is ridiculous because I would argue that all jobs are relevant in, in the future and all jobs must take this into account. So there's something we're getting very wrong within the context certainly of of England in terms of not preparing our students how in to understand how this is important and giving them the agency to act both within their local context. As universities worldwide grapple with their role in climate action, discussions like this underscore the need for innovative educational strategies that transcend traditional boundaries. Brenda Nyongesa, KUTV.